What is up for everybody, Dragon 6505 here, and you notice that I put a video up reviewing Plants vs. Zombies that I got off the Amazon App Store on day of release for my Droid X, and uh, seeing as how I actually haven't done any uh, videos for a long while, I figured I might as well do a little bit of uh, reviewing on my Droid X and some things that I'm going to do to it, some things that I have done to it. As you see here, my Droid X it has this you know, crappy scratch right there. But no worries about that. Droid X works perfectly fine. I just recently updated it to Gingerbread 45596 using P3 Leak. Uh, and I'll have to say, uh, before uh, before I get into what I've actually done to my phone, let me just say a Gingerbread uh, update for the Droid X is highly deserved, highly anticipated, and it's finally official and it's here. And uh, it, it, it definitely adds quite a few improvements to the uh, Droid system. Uh, I messed around with the uh, gingerbread leaks uh, before they were actually official, and uh, I ended up getting the P3 Odex uh, or rooted version um, for my X, and uh, it, it 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 ran very well. And then I noticed uh, I, I was wondering if there were any ROMs for it um, that I could flash, and lo and behold, for the 596, Drew Gaben. Uh, I'll put a, a link to his website down in the description. Has created quite a, a, quite a few ROMs for the Droid X uh, on uh, the Gingerbread, and uh, they, they they run all of them run very well. Uh, from the 595 uh, Zap X to the one I'm about to show you now, uh, the ROM that I have installed on my phone is called Haterade. It's currently version 1.5 at time of this. Uh, video and uh, I flashed it to my phone and I gotta tell you I am extremely impressed with this ROM. Ran a quadrant score on it earlier, uh, overclocked it to 1.35 uh, gigahertz and I got a 2360 on quadrant. It was freaking ridiculous. Uh, and it was, it was, oh man, the phone, the ROM and everything is blazing fast. Um, I'm extremely happy with it. So let me shut up here and uh, turn the phone on for you, so you can uh, get a handle on what I'm talking about here. There's the Motorola bootload screen. Let that show up. You'll see the uh, custom boot animation. It comes with Haterade. It's uh, on its way, hopefully. There we go. Little bouncing, spinning uh, Android there. Very nice. Well, let me Take a drink of warm Mountain Dew. Mmm. You're all mad. Alright, little guy, you had your phone. Turn on. There we go. Alright. There we go. As you can see, guys, uh, running the gingerbread uh, haterade. Uh, well, as soon as we'll go to the lock screen. Thank you. Haterade Ginger. Very, very nice ROM. Highly recommend this for anybody that owns a Droid X. Uh, as you can see, well, well, as you can see, when I, when the phone decides to lock, it's got that little CRT animation, uh, kind of like an old school television when you turn it off. Really cool. Doesn't affect anything at all. Uh, uh, as you can see, I've got the uh, Droid Overclock widget sitting right there showing you uh, what my settings are at the moment. I've only got it, I've, it's set to stock at the moment because I don't have anything set up to boot. So uh, right now it's probably got a bunch of apps that you know are booting up because you know, the system has to run some shit. Anyway, uh, a couple of changes that uh, Drew Gaben has, cha has made to the uh, Android system. First off, you'll notice the launcher is a bit different. This is actually called Go Launcher EX and it comes stock with the Haterade ROM. Very nice, very responsive um, launcher. If you haven't got it, I highly recommend it. Also, he's changed uh, up in the status bar. The color of the icons here has gone from the stock green to red. I think it's a little more vibrant, stands out a little bit more, plus it looks really cool. Uh, what else has he changed in this? Like I said, the, uh, look at the responsiveness on that. Very, very nice. Uh, in the actual launcher itself, I have a notification. Hold on. Sorry about that. <laughs> uh, 
But like you see, the drawer has uh, changed. This is uh, from the Go Launcher. Go Launcher has um, a very nice uh, setup right up here where you've got all your apps that you can view, recently used apps, and the currently running apps. So I'm going ahead, going to go ahead and uh, close out all the programs here at the moment. And give the phone uh, just to let it boot up what's absolutely necessary, which is going to here in a second. See some things that are floating up at the moment. Uh, I'm going to show you a couple of things. First off, uh, well, like I said, the, the drawer here, very, very nice, very responsive. You can also change the drawer from the uh, stock, uh, where well, you've got the scrolling orientation. You can change it from, you know, you know everybody's used to the, the vertical. But you can also put uh, horizontal pages instead, kind of, you know, Apple iPhone style, uh, if you like that. Also, similar to the ADW launcher. I actually happen to prefer, whoops, no, not custom background. Uh, I actually prefer the vertical scrolling just because I think it's a little more cleaner. Uh, plus, it, it, it help, lets me find my things. I don't like scrolling through pages myself, but uh, to each of them. You've got a developer tools uh, menu in here. I have absolutely no idea what this is, but I suppose this is for um, developers who want to um, do, do their own things for uh, the ROM themselves or anybody that knows anything about this. I don't know anything about it. I'm not going to review that. Uh, also, uh, spare parts. If anybody's got uh, a rooted phone, they're familiar with spare parts. It's got all the uh, familiar options in here. Uh, there's Quadrant and all that. Uh, it also comes stock with the. Uh, well, I actually, oops, I actually have it. Um, uh, I had deleted it, but it comes stock with the Milestone Overclocker, and I like the Milestone Overclocker for on my Droid X, but I actually prefer the Droid Overclocker. Uh, myself, it's got quite a few more optimizations. You can see uh, uh, the little drawer that pops up there. You can tell um, what the current frequency is running at. It's not running anything, so it's uh, you know uh, on demand and such. Uh, you can set your CPU. I'm gonna actually run a uh, quadrant score for you here, um, so that you get a gist of. Uh, well, let me first. Uh, where did it go? There it is. Uh, let me first um, set the frequency to performance. There we go. That way it'll constantly stay at um, 1 gigahertz uh, maximum processor speed. Let me run a quadrant score for you here. Um, so uh, the ROM, like I said, is extremely responsive. Uh, it is um, sort of customizable. You know, you can set your own launchers and such like that, but as is, as it stands, it's very, very nice, very responsive. I enjoy using it, and uh, if you've got a Droid X yourself, um, I, I highly recommend it, like I said. Uh, there we go. Um, this is all as your phone would run standard. Um, the uh, frames per second and such, you know, are pretty familiar if you've ever run a Quadrant. Um, so we'll just let this finish up. It's got two more of these uh, 3D things to go through. Mm -hmm. And that'll be the final animation that's going to run. I'm going to go and send this benchmark out. And there we go, We're running at a 1698 quadrant score right now, which is very respectable. Uh, especially, you know, uh, not really running anything. So I'm going to go ahead, uh, ahead here and overclock it. And I'm going to turn it up quite a bit. Medium voltage, I usually use medium voltage. I, I, if you, and if you ever clock, overclock your phone beyond what it's supposed to, it's going to um, heat up quite rapidly. And I don't want to do that at the moment. Plus, I'm not going to do this for very long. Uh, overclocking is essentially making your uh, CPU on your phone run beyond what its uh, what its uh, limits are, and uh, it helps um, processing of uh, applications. And uh, as you see, it runs slightly smoother um, when you uh, do that. Uh, I'm also going to close out all these programs again. And I'm going to give it a second to uh, load up what it absolutely needs to. Uh, come on. 
Okay, well, I guess it's not going to. Or, yeah, there we go. Some things are still loading up. Another app I would recommend uh, any Android user gets is Android Booster. It's in the Android market. It's a free app. Um, and it's uh, pretty much a task manager, battery manager, um, stuff like that. It's also very nice, very handy um, to close out your app so that your phone is running at optimal um, performance. So uh, let's go ahead here and run Quadrant again. You'll notice quite a speed difference already as it's going through its uh, benchmark. Uh, there we go. Electronic cigarette. And there you can see the animations are running uh, quite a bit faster. There's the uh, the 3D uh, I guess quake level style um, uh, test that's running there. And the uh, little planets going around. For some odd reason, I have absolutely no idea why, my LG Ally actually <laughs> runs that animation better than my droid does. I have, I have no idea why. I'll probably end up getting uh, into a review of what I've done to my LG Ally compared to my Droid X. But that's another video. Alright, let's send that out. And I got a 2001 right there. Uh, which is probably because it was um, booting up a few other applications. And yeah, see, there you go. Yeah. Close that out. Um, some things probably running in the background. Uh, actually, let me go ahead here and pop open Android Booster. Uh, actually, it's not that bad. But I'm going to optimize here. Okay. And one more time, going to run another quadrant benchmark, and we will see what happens this round. Should be higher, uh, I hope. If not, it's going to fail. <laughs> but as you can see, guys, the uh, the ROM and the phone runs very fast, very nice. The interface is uh, just perfect. It's very responsive. Uh, if you haven't got a Droid X, I highly, it's a highly recommendable phone. Uh, maybe more for the advanced Android users. Uh, I, I actually didn't start out on uh, the Droid X. I started out with the uh, Samsung Intercept, which is still a, a decent phone. And then I bumped it up to uh, my LG Ally, and then to my Droid X. And since I've started using the Android uh, system, I can't go and use any other phone. I've tried using a couple of flip phones and I just get retarded on it. I'm like, what the hell is this thing? Um, my girlfriend's actually got a slider phone kind of similar to a Blackberry. And uh, I, I, I was, wow. There you go, guys. 2106. Not bad. Very respectable. Um, and as you can see, compared to the other scores, um, it's very nice, very responsive. Snappy interface, snappy um, control, and everything like that. There you go, guys. My, uh, as of yet, uh, first review of Haterade 1.5 on YouTube. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Get it yourself. I'll put a link in the description to, um, to the website where you can download this ROM. Hope you guys have a nice day.